I'm a baller, baby, ain't no way to lock me out. If we ain't talking paper, what is there to talk about? I do it big, dog, and that go without a doubt. Only thing left, so I'm the only thing to talk about. Talk about. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay Halim, and I am back for another session of Jay's Take with my player partner, Miss Tamika L. Sims. Please say the L. <laughs> See, y'all know he gets on me about being unprofessional, right? So, y'all see what I did? I just smiled for the camera. Who, me? Yes. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm That's good. Me. Ready to rock and roll. Ready, Ready to, to get these roll. people. Get got to give the people, hit it, hit it, hit it. Give the people what they want. I just want you to sing. How are you supposed to hit it? You're supposed to, you're supposed to get it. But you give the people the song. I, I threw the out of you. You, you did. didn't catch it in the You did, I, I did. Oh my gosh, but a turnover. You're the song, we, call it, we call it a turnover. <laughs> All right, so this is Jay's take. <laughs> and, uh, you know. We, we, we answer questions here, yes. or, or I'm also give my take on certain topics. Mm -hmm. So if you um, if it's your first time, welcome, 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 mm -hmm. welcome. Yeah. And you know, uh, go back to the YouTube page, youtube.com backslash J TV, and check out some of our other ones. And you know, get caught up and click the notification bell and subscribe. So every time we put these out on Mondays, they go out on Mondays. Yes. You'll be right there, be the first person to see it. Yes. So what's up, Sim? Sister Sims? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm excited about today's topic. Well, give it to me. I'm what looking forward to you sharing perspective. Uh oh. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying, you guys, that this may be some, a term that you're unfamiliar with, but that's okay. So, we're going to educate you today, and he's also going to share his perspective. Now, you've heard of entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. you've heard of being self employed. Today, we are tackling the subject of intrapreneurship. Mm hmm. Say that three times fast. So we're talking about intrapreneurship today and what it means to be an intrapreneur. Mm, 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 mm. I know, right? Because yeah. I was I was surprised by that word the first time I heard you say it. I was like, what? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It really is a thing. Yeah. No, but um, you know, entrepreneurship is, a, is is really is a thing. And what an entrepreneur is, this is um, my definition is not uh Miriam Webster's, but um, it's a, a, a person is an employee or manager who takes the entrepreneurial approach to their job, you know, to to the task. And so um, this is one of the things. This is the hot. It's a hot person that people are trying to find right now in the industry. People who can take they come into the job, get the whole mission of the of, of the company. And to take it and run with it, you know, be a self-starter, be able to be entrepreneurial about their tasks, be able to take their team and, and, and run their organization or their portion of the organization like a business. Um, a lot of big-time business owners do not want to um, sit here and baby individuals no more and tell you what to do every day and have a task for you every day. They're looking for um, executives and managers to come in and already have a plan for, and I gave you the layout, I gave you what the goals we're trying to hit, I'm to let you know the mission statement of where we're trying to go, and they want you to take it them, take it there yourself. Um, but you still, it's a safety net in there because you know you're getting the paycheck, so you're not doing it like us regular entrepreneurs, but it's still a great importance in being an entrepreneur. Um, I think she mentioned that because it's one of the things my company, we, we train individuals how to have that um, go get a mindset that that growth mindset and that entrepreneurial mindset taking it into the workplace because again we all are CEOs of our last name and so if you approach your job like that always looking for growth always looking to be in the next place going higher and higher up the ladder then you'll be a way better employee and then truth of the matter is when it's when it's time for you to cross over to entrepreneurship you'll be ten times better a lot of people think the, the other way, that you be a crappy employee for somebody else and automatically you're going to be able to just <laughs> yeah. flip a switch and be the greatest entrepreneur. Um, I don't believe that. I've seldom seen those type of things happen. Um, I always told part of my testimony is I've worked a bunch of crappy jobs, but I've never been fired from a job and I've always um, was on time at my jobs. I've always put on and did my work at my jobs. Um, and I think that's what made me be a successful entrepreneur because the work ethic was always there. Um, I just took my passion for 
um, what I wanted to do and brought it over to mine. And I was a whole lot more excited about doing it for me than someone else. And so that's what pushed me through. But being an entrepreneur is a very, very um, hot position right now. It's not a specific position, but being that entrepreneur, uh, you know, uh, having that type of mindset will probably get you a job faster than a lot of things nowadays. We are all CEOs of our last name. Was that not an important point for him to make? So I appreciate you sharing your perspective about that, you know, again, because, you know, we want to make sure that we're educating you on this platform with Jay Stick. That's why we ask you to submit your questions. That's why we look for your feedback, because this gives us the fuel that we need to make sure that we're giving our audience exactly what they need to make sure that we're answering the questions that are plaguing your mind. So thank you for saying that, because I think that's something that we have to remember. And at the end of the day, everybody is not designed, nor do they want to be full-time entrepreneurs. So we understand that here um, at Jay so because of that we decided to share some additional information on how you can still get a little bit of that um, while still maintaining your full-time job or hustling while you work as it says and you won't starve key principles for entrepreneur development if you do not have this book go ahead and cop that www.jhaleen.com backslash store and add this to your personal library you'll thank us later yes Yes, you can thank us now. Thank us, <laughs> thank us now. Yes, thank us now. Thank <laughs> us later when you get a copy for somebody else and they thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so um, thank you guys for tuning in today. Mm -hmm. If you want to, as I told you before, follow us on all our social medias. Mine is at IMJ Haleem on all platforms and hers is at Get Right W R I T E with Tamika on all platforms. And as I told you before, YouTube.com backslash J Haleem TV. Subscribe, 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 yes. so y'all can be a part of the family. You're already part of the family, but yeah. we want to, you know, want you to be counted in that number. Yes, counted in the number. <laughs> <laughs> You know, be counting that number and, and, and you know, again, um, participate. Leave some comments below. Tell us what you think about and give us some feedback on the videos, anything y'all want to see differently, done differently, and we'll definitely take it into consideration. But until then, see you next time and on our next take. I don't do it big, I do it Super Bowl big. Big, big, Super Bowl big.